Hey everybody, Pastor Luke Cancel here. Today's uh, readings are from Genesis 24 and 25 and Hebrews 12. And um, seeking hope for the future is, is, is kind of a focus for today. Um, and, and, and that we see it in, in, 20, in chapter 24, where Abraham sends his servant to the land of his fathers in order to get a wife for Isaac. He didn't want his son to have uh, a, a wife from among the Canaanite women. So he wanted his servant to go to his father's house or his father's land and find uh, a, a wife from there. And uh, it's, it's a really fascinating story because uh, not only did Abraham have to live by faith, but it was obviously passed on to his, his servant who went by faith um, and asked God for certain uh, signs um, that he was getting the, finding the right woman. And um, he also made uh, his servant swear that he wouldn't take Isaac back to his father's land. Now, why is that important? Because Isaac would not have been in the place he needed to be to fulfill the promise later on as in his part of the fulfillment so you see kind of a passing down of a, of a hope of uh, from generation to generation abraham lived there in the hope that god had given him that land even though he was living in it as a sojourner he would give it to his descendants and now if he was to take Isaac and let him leave that place, Isaac would not be positioned where he needed to be in order to fulfill his part of this plan that God had. And so, uh, so as, as, as generations go, uh, it's important for us to have a hunger to see God's plan fulfilled not just in our lives, but in the generations to come. This is how we impact those generations to realize that the promise isn't just for us. And sometimes the promise isn't even fulfilled in our lifetime, but we know that God has promised it. And so we stay positioned where God has, has told us to go, to, has, has planted us, to be in order to fulfill that promise. In Hebrews 12, uh, we see that Jesus is the, the, the founder and the perfecter of our faith. And it, it starts off this way, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, Abraham was named as one of those witnesses. Let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith. Our faith that we have is because of Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith. And he is the one that gives us that measure of faith to hold on to the hope that he has given us in the promise in the promises that he has laid before us. He has a plan for not just you, but for generations to follow you. Hold on to the hope, because as we hunger to see God's plan, to see God's purpose, to see God's power work in our lives, we will realize that it's not just for us, for us to pass on. God bless you.